Hey there, Sharon Hornelstrom here, Supersize Your Business. Do you call your shots? If you can see this blue tarp behind me, there is a knife throwing, hatchet throwing target behind there. And my nephew, I'm staying at his house in Florida, you can see the palm trees maybe. Uh, and he has picked up the habit and the practice and the hobby of throwing axes and knives and tomahawks at this target. I should have had him uncover it for me, but I just wanted to talk about it because it's plays into calling your shots. He's in the military, and this idiom has really interesting, hilarious, some of them funny, possible origins. They're not sure exactly where call your shots came from, but there's a lot of different places that it could have come from. One was the military, old and new, about calling your shot. Could come from billiards when people call their shot, when you're playing eight ball or something. It might have come from the 1500s when the sport of curling first started. The skip, the team leader, would call the shot of all the other players in terms of the distance, the speed, and the line that the the curling, it looks like a big rock to me, stone, I, th I think it's called a stone, I can't remember, gets going to go down to score. I, My brother-in-law is a curler. I know nothing about the sport, but I did watch one Canadian movie about curling that was pretty good. It uh, could have come from the ancient or the modern military. Um, it's also used in, was used in whiskey making, where when they make whiskey, part of the distilling process, uh, you evaporate and you know, there's poison and parts, there's a, a poison stage, which is called the fore shot. Then there's an after shot as you're boiling off and distilling the whiskey that are not drinkable. So the whiskey makers would call their shot, meaning when to start saving the distilled product because it was good to consume. <coughs> now, what does it mean for us? When somebody says they're going to call their shot, it means that you're controlling and being in charge. Or you're going to call your goal, your specific outcome that you want for your business or for your life. We call our shots. Some people never call their shots. They don't set their goals and state where they're going to where, where they're going to land, how they're going to score, what they're going to do in their life. But if you're a business owner, chances are you have called your shot and you continue to call your shot by sharing your goals and objectives and the direction that you're going in your business. Uh, there's a lot of different ways of saying call your shot. One I had never really heard of before, call the tune. That was a new one to me, but my mom said she'd heard of it, so maybe that's an older one. There's also to be in charge to be in the driver's seat, be in the saddle, call the tune again, lay down the law. That is one of my favorite. I used to tell my kids all the time, I'm going to have to lay down the law and then tell them what to do because I was controlling and managing their behavior. Make the rules, wear the trousers. I like that one too. Or wear many hats. <coughs> it means you're the leader, you're in charge, you're calling the shots. So I'd love to know your experience with this particular idiom, this saying. I, I love it. I like to be in charge. I like to direct things. I like to call my shots. I like to lay out the big picture and let other people implement the little details of that particular strategy or job. But it means that I'm not only dictating and in charge of setting the direction, I'm also 100% responsible for the results, right? Other people might help me get the results, but I'm always ultimately responsible. So share in the comments below how you call the shots. Go out, make it an awesome day. We're going to have a Cinco de Mayo party here today. So I wish you the best day possible, and I'll, of course, see you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how can you use it in your business and your life right now? I might even try throwing some tomahawks. Ah, scary. Have a great day. Bye.